special memories from that 1998 season. What a run it was 20 years ago. And this year we are celebrating that team and their accomplishments. Bobblehead weekend here, the four game set against the Cardinals. Last night it was Tony Gwynn's bobblehead. Now it's Ken Caminiti's, Trevor Hoffman, and then Mr. Greg Vaughn. You can get them all weekend long. Great to have you back with us for Padres Live, the pregame show. Mike Pomerantz, Tony Gwynn Jr., and Scott Miller, our Fox Sports San Diego MLB insider. Guys, we're talking about the Yankees series as it relates to 1998. They're playing well now. More on that in a moment. But you were there as a small fry. Right. You were there as a little larger fry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw the Yankees play quite a bit there in that 98 season. I was covering the Minnesota Twins for the St. Paul Pioneer Press. And you might remember on a Sunday in May, David Wells threw his perfect game in Yankee Stadium against the Twins. I was there that day. I remember Beanie Baby Day. They packed Yankee <laughs> Stadium with Beanie Babies. Then later that year, after the Yankees finished 114-48, came the World Series with the Padres and uh, that Yankee team was a machine in that World Series especially game one when your pops hit the home run yeah. I remember that moment clearly well we were saying it even just before we got on the air that it's like, on a day when your dad hits a home run that's a game you've got to win that might have been a bad sign from the outset you remember it though Scotty yeah very much um, I remember sitting in that Yankee Stadium press box and everybody expected the Yankees to roll especially in Yankee Stadium yeah. Uh, the New, New Yorkers, you might say, have a sense of entitlement. After that team went 114 and, not, and 48 that year, they had a huge sense of entitlement. So Yankees take a 2-0 lead. Padres come back tied at 2. I think it surprised some people. Then Tony hits that shot you just saw into the upper deck. Fifth inning to give the Padres a 5-2 lead. And I remember specifically the darkness, the blackness of the night. And the howling stadium just came to us. It was silenced. And all of a sudden, for a brief moment, it, the Yankee people there felt like they were shocked. It was like the breath had been knocked out of them until they came back in the seventh inning and, and the Padres couldn't hold that lead. Yeah, they had so many. The Yankees had a lot of guys that didn't necessarily have good years that year. Yeah. But for whatever reason, the playoffs came around. Scott Brocious comes to mind immediately. Yes. He had an amazing season, and, and or amazing series, playoff yeah. and, and, and yeah. World Series. And he was a thorn in the Padres side that entire series. Yeah. He drove that entire series yeah. for them. And yeah. like you said, regular season, he was a guy. Right. Good player, not a great player, but a guy. I don't know if there's a parallel. Might be a bit premature to this year's Yankee team because that generational Yankee team was absolutely one for the ages.